There is someone in there behind that pattern bar. <laughs> Are you in there? <laughs> well, good evening, everybody. Welcome on this Easter Eve. It's lovely to have you all. Thank you for turning out on a really chilly evening. Um, you might catch fire. <laughs> There's a thing on YouTube of a vicar who set himself alight. Uh, fortunately, oh. <laughs> all was well, but uh, yes. Um, Jane has got something that she will play at the beginning and at the end. Ken will attend to the fanfare in the middle. And um, we may have to do some um, jiggery pokery with the Easter candle in terms of lighting it and giving it lit to get to the church. But um, that's fine. I think jiggery pokery is quite acceptable on Easter. <laughs> So Ruth and Nick are very kindly assisting me this evening. Thank you very much. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this holy night, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. We remember his death and resurrection by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries, confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever in God. So we kindled the new fire a little earlier so that we have a bit of warmth. Let us pray. Eternal God, who made this holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light. Set us aflame with the fire of your love and bring us to the radiance of your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I need to mark the candle. This is a challenge because I can't actually see what I'm doing but the Lord will understand that. Jesus Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages, to him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. So now we light try and light the candle. <laughs> the Anglicans are good at symbols. and heavenly blessing that as we were sometimes darkness but now are light in the Lord we may walk as children of light through the same our Lord Jesus Christ Amen, Amen. Christ. Thanks be Thank to God.
and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise you, the unseen God, the Father Almighty, and your only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who has ransomed us by his death and paid for us the price of Adam's sin. For this is the Passover of the true Lamb of God, by whose blood the homes of all the faithful are hallowed and protected. This is the night when of old you saved our fathers, delivering the people of Israel from their slavery and leading them dry shod through the sea. This is the night when Jesus Christ vanquished hell and rose triumphant from the grave. This is the night when all who believe in him are freed from sin and restored to grace and holiness. Most blessed of all nights, when wickedness is put to flight and sin is washed away, lost innocence regained and morning turned to joy, night truly blessed when heaven is wedded to earth and all creation reconciled to God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, accept our sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering, and grant that your light may make our darkness light. For Christ the morning star has risen, never again to set, and is alive and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are gathered together to wait the risen Christ. Let us hear the record of God's saving deeds in history, recalling how he saved his people in ancient past, and in fullness of time sent his Son to be our Redeemer. And let us pray that through this Easter celebration, God may bring to perfection in each of us the saving work he has already begun. The first reading is from the book of Exodus. We hear of the rescue of the Israelites during their flight from Egypt. The story foreshadows our deliverance through the waters of baptism, by which we enter into the liberty of the children of God. The angel of God, who had been travelling in front of Israel's army, withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of cloud also moved from in front and stood behind them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to the one side and light to the other, so neither went near the other all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued them, and all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. He made the wheels of their chariots come off so that they had difficulty driving. And the Egyptians said, Let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing towards it, and the Lord swept them into the sea. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea 
not one of them survived. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. That day the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. And when the Israelites saw the great power of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. Let us pray. Almighty God, you rescued your people Israel from slavery in Egypt and led them through the water of the Red Sea and to the Promised Land. By the same power, deliver all mankind from the bondage of sin through the waters of baptism and bring us to your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen indeed. Alleluia! 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 Testament lesson is from the letter to the Romans. Paul teaches us that in baptism we are united with our Redeemer in his death and that we shall be united with him in his resurrection. Romans chapter 6 verses 3 to 11. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be destroyed, and that we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Alleluia. alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Mark chapter 16, verses 1 to 8. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the 
on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? And when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, we remember that through the Paschal Mystery, we have died and been buried with him in baptism, so that we may rise with him to a new life within the family of his church. Now that we have completed our observance of Lent, we renew the promises made at our baptism, affirming our allegiance to Christ and our rejection of all that is evil. Therefore, I ask these questions. Do you turn to Christ? I, I turn, turn to, to Christ. Christ. Do you repent of your sins? I, I repent, repent of my sins. sins. Do you renounce evil? I renounce evil. And now I ask you to make the profession of Christian faith into which you were baptised and in which you live and grow. Do you believe and trust in God the Father who made the world? I believe, I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in his Son Jesus Christ who redeemed mankind? I believe, I believe and, and trust, trust in him. Do you believe and trust in his Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God? I believe, I believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This, this is our faith. faith. We, we believe, believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, we thank you for the, our fellowship in the household of faith with all those who have been baptised in your name. Keep us faithful to our baptism, and so make us ready for that day when the whole creation shall be made perfect in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we join together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gate of everlasting life. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting the grave has won a glorious victory, Give you joy as you share the Easter faith. 
Amen. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, whom the risen Lord breathed into his disciples, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. Amen. King of glory, you are the Prince of Peace, you are the Lord of heaven and earth, you are the Son of Righteousness, angels bow down before you, worship and adore you, for you have the words of eternal life, you are Jesus Christ the Lord, Hosanna to the Son of David, Hosanna to the King of Kings, glory in the highest heaven, for Jesus the Messiah reigns.